Just open the damn box. Man. Someone open the box. Carl, uh, can you open the box? I even tried it. Just oh my god. What is in this legendary, top secret, pirate treasuring box? Let's get out of here, boys. Oh, oh, oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. is coming. You guys know if we're all together, you know we're up to no good, right? Wait, That's, we're, always up to no good we're, we're always up to no good. Well, today, we're definitely up to no good. We're exploring an old project that never got finished here in Liege, uh, Belgium. An old, uh, pretty much bus train tunnel system is down below. We're about to go check that out. So down below, it's gonna be pitch black in there. We're gonna see old trams, cars, buses, you name it. Everything's down there and it's just left there. It's just. In a way, it's, it's not just stored, but they just literally ditched it down there. You know, just lay out the history, bro. All right, so guys, this was the biggest useless project ever in Belgium. What they actually did, I don't know where to look actually, but... Look anywhere. What they actually did is, in the early 1970s, they started off this metro project. They wanted to build a huge metro tunnel under the streets of this huge Belgium city. Actually, the metro never saw the lights. Uh, Tunnel went down in the history is one of the most useless projects of the country. And yeah, they just decided, all right, screw it. We just store all our buses, all our cars from the local Belgian bus company in this tunnel. And nowadays it just gets a strange vibe like a zombie apocalypse effect. Yeah, you guys will see it and you're gonna like it. So stay tuned for this. Let's get it. All right guys, the only thing we have to worry about is like homeless people or something like that. All right, my light's super bright. So apparently this tunnel right now, Explorers, as we speak, is around three and a half miles long. Um, like I said, they wanted to build a tunnel for the whole entire city, but they never could finish it. They never did it. It was a complete waste of time. I feel like the underground people are here. Like there's like a cult, like Paris Catacombs, but I'm not really sure. And everything you do is just a super loud echo. I mean, with the proper lighting, we could lighten up this whole place. Dude, if you ever watch 28 Days Later or Resident Evil, every time I see things that look like this, like abandoned cars, anything underground, I instantly think of like zombies are just all down here. Every single time. Dude, this bus is literally cut in half. Where's the other half of the bus? It's just so weird, the whole thing's cut in half. What am I stepping on? Dude, this whole thing would open up and rise. Wow, oh, this one's legit. It's like a Victorian tram. Look at the wallpaper in this one. All made out of wood too. Not metal and any cheap things. You had a really old tram with wooden cabs. I've never seen anything like this one. This is a nice tram. It reminds me of New Orleans, but even better than New Orleans tram. I like trolleys and stuff like that. It's almost like the abandoned trolley graveyard as well. Oh, like all the ones underground, like all the stops yeah. that was supposed to happen. All the stops. And they never did any of them. And this happened all in nine, around 1970 when they had the project idea, right? Yeah, right. Right, that's what I read too. Three years ago, I actually came here, but we didn't really know how to come down here. Long story short. So I all of a sudden, randomly, I came here again. They're like, yeah, I come to Leeds. Like, I've been to that city before. And then now I'm here with Explomo. Check this guy out. He has a buddy, but he's not here. But, you know, link in the description down below. He's like our somewhat tour guide for the whole day. We've been running around doing a bunch of crazy things. And this is different, you know? Doing any sort of like tunnels in a city but has like trolleys and trams and it's a graveyard, super cool. Even more stops, look at all of them. You only seen one to eight. It goes all the way down. There was already, they were already pushing to 30 stops. Oh, it stops right here. There, there was a, they were gonna stop at 50 stops. And all this was gonna be built here in Liege. What is this you think, bro? Gearbox. 
And a gearbox yeah. for the trolleys. For the buses. All the buses. Yeah. It's a huge gearbox. So for those who are new and only started watching a few of my videos, if they were recent, a lot of them were definitely a bunch of cool mansions and houses. That's because every area in each different country has its pros and cons. Like France and Belgium is known for houses. Belgium's known for like just personal like farmhouses, while France is known for like mansions and castles. Uh, United States is known for asylums, but also in the United States we have a little bit of everything. And actually in every country there's a little bit of everything. And for this place, Belgium has one of the coolest abandoned train trolley graveyard thingies. And we're doing it, and we're on a cool adventure with a bunch of cool people, and we're having a great time. Just fun hanging out, and after this, we'll probably have amazing food. Yeah, look at all these mechanic things. This is an old, look, this is an old trout. Uh, this is, yeah, this is good. This one has all the seats in it. Yeah, I went to a trolley graveyard before, like three years ago, when I first started this like career thingy. It was super fun. For some reason there is a chair as the control seat. I don't know how or why, but it is. Nice cool valve. Yeah, this is definitely the Wait, oldest like tram. What? My deck from six months ago, it's still in this dusty window. Oh yeah, it is. I see it. Move, move your, your flash. Yeah, it's still just right there. Six months ago you came here? Yeah. It's still there. But this is definitely the oldest. Dude, they didn't even have like protection like walls. You would just sit on the seat and just go through the city. Looks like it's driven by horses. Yeah, for real, it is. <laughs> wow. This should be in like a museum. It's definitely like a collector's item. Yeah. It looks like the conductor would be in front of it, turning just that valve. Or it was just a part of the longer. It could have been, yeah, this could have just been a longer part just yeah. to transport people. Right here used to be old police security, but not anymore. I wonder where the police went. Bad photography. <laughs> I am police, bad photography. <laughs> so let's see what the police's uh, security used to look like. Man, they, they would just literally sit here. Their job was just to watch the spots. They had nothing cool going on here. Like I said, there's three miles in this place. We've only did like 0.2 miles of it, and we're only about 20 minutes in maybe. And this will probably take definitely over an hour to do all this. If we want to walk to the end of the tunnel, that is. Which we're gonna do it anyway, we have to complete it. And this is stip seriously like trippy right here. It's like a side tunnel. You guys should just split from the group. You know, they'll take the tunnel, but I'll take this way. I haven't explored tunnels or anything on our underground in such a long time. It's usually actually only when I come to the, the UK with Dan, we do like underground Manchester, or, you know, something wacky. And the last thing I did was like the Paris Catagones. I'm not usually like the tunnel guy and I'm also not the roof guy either. Um, so I'm kind of just the abandoned man-made man -made structures, which is this one, so I'm still here. I don't really do mines either, but I would, I guess. I actually would, sometimes, once in a while. Telling you the car, the active bus, remember oh. it. Oh yeah, it does, yeah, it's the same exact bus. Yeah. So they, well, I guess they took the broken bus and still just stored it down here. They had nothing else to do with this place, so they're just storing everything down here. Mm -hmm. What a broken project. This tram looks like it's from like Disneyland. Like a little Victorian old French one from Disneyland. It opens up right here to the right. I'm sure it brings you to the same path. Oh yeah, it does. Maybe they were gonna eventually take a right and cross the street, I don't know. Or with many streets, make their own little railway. It looks like it could've even been part of a car. In 1908, just found this sign randomly. And to be fair, we're kinda, we're the first to put a lot of things on the map. Uh, we've been to a lot of places, at least, I don't know, for videos or anything that put spots on the map. It's like, what? This place is accessible, you can go here? I didn't know that. Like, a bunch of different things or, you know, loopholes and, stuff like that, but we make things happen. That's what the Exploring Crew does. 
yellow sign. You know what it means? No, what does it mean? Please show your transport tickets. Oh, so they had transport tickets here? Yeah, so they came in right here. Yeah, for sure. They had to show their entrance tickets to the yeah, bus, bus ride. ride. Yeah, uh, everything's in kind of intact right here. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's <laughs> the whole currency of Belgium. Oh, really? Nowadays, they're just paying euros. Oh, yeah, you're right. These we're pay we're paying euros. So this, I didn't even know such thing as francs. I never even knew about that, cur yeah, that currency. These are francs. Oh, that is some cool history then to talk about. Oh, it's dated from 19... 1994. Hey! What do you think of that? Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> that's sick. I was even born in 1994. Right. I was not even exist. <laughs> Dude, think about this. Tree. Yeah. If you think about it, obviously it's a bus that transported people, things like that. But imagine it was this bus back in the day that was transporting people every single day. So if you're really passionate about history, it's like you you think about it as in like a more artistic, passionate way, rather than people's like, yeah, this little bus it took people. Yeah, cool, I get it. But think about it in like more of a passionate way if you like it that well, if you like it that much, like us. And Mo was the one that was kind of bringing that stuff up. Yeah, bro. Also the signs. People had to hold themselves, yeah. Literally every day. Yeah. People just yeah. for real off to each location. Dude, you just you don't even know. I didn't have to really hold myself on buses until I got to Japan. When I started traveling out there. I was always dude, the thing was so full. I was always holding onto the buses and the yeah. trams with everyone all squishing me like sardines. Especially in Japan. Yeah, it's for so crowded there. It really is, man. I take a walk inside the banana bus. Look at the windows, like Imagine that they actually use Those are huge uh, wind wipers. <laughs> They're not even, it's not, it's like, it looks like a brand new bus. Maybe like the engines like stopped working and it was like, all right, we can't use this bus no more. It's too much to fix. Or they just keep changing the models, right? Oh, where does it still work? Uh, <laughs> oh, get the other one, get the other one. Drive, you can't go inside. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Netherlands, actually the lion stands for royalty, so for the royal family. Maybe it could have been a royal bus. Definitely a premium sticker if someone stuck it on. You know what's actually really cool? What? The yellow bus over there still has its destination on it. Oh, that, alright, that's, that's cool. <laughs> Yo, this was the last bus's destination, guys. 701 Pepinster. It never made it, though. Never, yeah. It never well, made it, it, yeah, it never even made it. It, met, it ended up here. <laughs> Imagine that. That's actually pretty yeah. funny. Dude. Yeah, guys, this is what inside of a bus looks like. What the heck? So many of them. Imagine that you have to repair something. Yeah, imagine like you didn't know what circuit or what wiring needed to be done. You'll be, cha you'll be trying to change everything. Lose your minds. That bus looks brand new in the photo. We're in that bus right now, but it's nothing like it. <laughs> Finally, we are now approaching the end. Explorers, if you notice all these hooks and, and even the train tracks, yeah. this is where they actually started to build their metro system. Let's see how far it actually goes from here. But this is really cool. We're going to touch the end of it, man. Yeah, we're gonna touch the end. I can't believe they just never finished it. It's just really cool to see because we know the history, so knowing that they you know, they failed, they never finished it, and we know everything, just makes this place feel cooler. I'm walking on what could have been a tram. Lawyers, we have made it to the end of the ghost tram tunnel. Okay, yeah, but you can see like they're gonna keep going and they, yeah, gave up. Well, time to go back. <laughs> Explorers, as we're about to leave, we found an old missing kid sign strapped down to the abandoned bus, but I don't know, I hope she was okay, but that just really is freaky. We threw our lights inside to get some photos, so now it looks like the, the, the buses are actually running. It looks actually pretty creepy too. Oh, he says it's a shortcut out. It's a human made sh Dude, that's a shortcut upstairs to get out? Okay, I'll take it. Let's take it, boys. Yo. We really did save time. We just went up the floor and skipped the whole floor to get out. We're free! Fresh air. Yes, I can breathe. Ooh, and that weather's good. It's like that, like, 
first start of October, October kind of weather. Like you know it's coming. Well, spring. It's our spring, but it oh. ah, smells good. I can, yo, this just oh, that fresh air. You're just smelling that air that you wouldn't smell down there because it's so dirty. And then you come in here, it's like oh, I always love oh. getting outside again. Yeah, me too. That was a cool spot, Exelora. Super cool. Just coming out the tunnels.